So when we opened uh, our, our art space here in Berlin 15 years ago, so we thought it's a good idea to have a, a strong partner and Guggenheim was very interested to be uh, present in uh, Berlin and we worked very successfully and so we prolonged this partnership for at the end two times so for 15 years but now so many things change we want to be more open to other areas so like Latin America, Asia, Africa we, work, we want to work with, with other institutions as well so for the future Guggenheim Foundation will be one partner but we will have other partners like the Tate Modern for example the, the, during the last 15 years the collection was growing and growing. We want to have more freedom to bring shows from our collection here. So all these were reasons to change the concept and to do it as a Deutsche Bank Kunsthalle and then work with several partners and have this link to the Berlin art world as well. So the Artist of the Year is nominated by our uh, advisory council. The experts in this council are Udo Kittelmann here from Berlin, Juan Roo from San Francisco, Ogbe Almazur from Munich, and Victoria Northam from Buenos Aires. So they come up with some proposals about uh, promising uh, artists, so that they are dealing with, with topics that are really interesting for, for today, for the people and uh, so what is necessary as well, so their work should include photography and drawing in a specific way because this is the focus of our collection. Oh. Yeah. Artist of the year Iman Kiweshi lives in Lahore in Pakistan. He is professor at the National College of Arts, professor for miniature, miniature painting and um, he he uh, use he's using this uh, uh, very old and traditional technique of miniature painting to to bring it to in, into the world of contemporary art and I think this is very special uh, for him. I I was trained as a miniature painter from National College of Arts in 1992-93, but. The training was very strict, it was very academic, very disciplined. We learned the technique in detail just to master the technique and everything. But after all, I am a visual artist and I, when I am making my artwork, I am not conscious of this fact that I am a miniature painter. I think it comes naturally in my work, whatever I want to express. It connects somehow with the traditional miniature painting, but that that is not a conscious deci decision or a planned thing. It comes very naturally, but whatever I am doing, I do it as my work, and that's more important for me. I think the exhibition gave a nice idea about three sides of my art practice. One is like traditionally painted miniature painting and how they are transforming it into some other forms and then abstract paintings which are large size canvases and the three-dimensional very monumental site-specific installation. So I think this show represents all these three sides of my art practice and, and gives a very clear idea about the artist. In this exhibition, most of the work is very recent, it's from 2013. It's the first time I'm exhibiting my canvases in some exhibition. I have never worked with acrylic ca on canvas before. It was a new medium, but it was not so new in terms of working. Uh, because I was very much comfortable with it uh, because I was already using acrylic in my site specific installation and on a large scale installations so the size and the medium uh, were not because I never do anything when I don't want to do In this small room, these works are from late 90s and early 2000, when India and Pakistan did nuclear explosions in the region. 
and they were celebrating it it was all over in news and everywhere and the region was really affected with that and uh, so i replaced this figure of or the portrait of imperial or king or princess or prince uh, standing in a landscape with this nuclear missile 